from the KATC Weatherland. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, another day with super high heat across the area. Temperatures at least 98 for a high in Lafayette today. We'll probably equal that or maybe better it tomorrow and more so I think on Saturday. If we're going to hit 99 or 100 degrees, it's going to be Saturday, but relief on the way we think by Saturday evening into Saturday night. So the first off though, we got a drone shot for you this afternoon coming over UL. Checking out Russo Park here uh, from aloft and it looks like a cloud at the time. Good time for the drone operator to be operating the, the drone uh, again. A lot of flat cumulus clouds out there. Little haze out there as well. We're seeing a little combination of some of the smoke that came from the Canadian fires. A little African dust in the area as well. More of that on the way, but a beauty out there today. Just love these shots and a nice uh, view of uh, Russo Park there in the complex over at UL. So let's go ahead and take a look. And we're still under this big heat dome, uh, but it's getting a little bit more elongated and we have this little bit of uh, an extension of the heat dome over us and that's going to last for the next day or two. So that's what's going to keep us awfully hot and keep us on this record breaking run that we've seen for the last 44 days or so. High pressure situated just offshore southeast Louisiana at the surface allowing for very light winds across the area. But looky here we actually have some action on power Doppler 3. Here's your 5% rain chance and it manifested pretty nicely in Lafayette Parish getting a nice little down downpour here between St. Martinville and New Iberia and then on up through uh, the swampy areas of uh, just south of uh, we'll say Lake Martin and then east of the Youngsville area and then some other shower activity a nice little shower by the Abbeville area that is falling apart right now and this is what we have going on uh, from around the Daspit area over to Ard Burke and uh, farther north and west as we go along Highway 182 here mainly uh, just northeast of the Highway 90 quarter and right on the St. Martinville highway here as uh, you head uh, towards St. Martinville. And then we do have a little bit of an isolated shower showing up right in town here uh, from Congress on down to Calise Saloon, the heaviest part of it right over River Ranch right now. Camellia and Calise Saloon. This is where we're seeing a good downpour over toward East Bayou Parkway and uh, some lighter sprinkles toward Vero School Road. But a nice little shower for some on the south side of town. Then we get up uh, closer to this shower here on Congress and Johnst uh, you've got Johnston and Congress right here. So right on Johnston and uh, connecting roadways there uh, from East Bayou Parkway. Uh, again, uh, isolated but nice for some. Unfortunately, the heat advisory continues again for tomorrow. Heat indices as high as 115. Excessive heat warning as you get into the northern part of the state. Only difference there. It's not so much heat index. Uh, temperatures actually above 100 degrees. So that's just about the trigger point for the excessive heat warning. Might see that come Saturday here for Acadiana. We'll see. Around the periphery of the high, we see storms erupting again in the lee of the Rockies. And another big storm complex over Tennessee moving into the Carolinas. Gulf of Mexico, Caribbean, awfully quiet. That's good as we get into the tropics. Tropical Storm Don still holding on. 50 mile per hour winds in the central Atlantic not going anywhere and threatening anyone at this point. And tropical waves coming off the African coastline looking a little bit better with time. Uh, again, the National Hurricane Center just giving this a little bit of a disturbance here. 20% chance of development. It may redevelop farther to the uh, west. We'll see, uh, but just a 20% chance. And another good looking wave coming off the African coastline. We'll see how that plays out. The Euro tracks the moisture and maybe a, a weak area of low pressure developing with maybe that lead tropical wave that's out ahead of the one the Hurricane Center is looking at. And then we see the moisture increasing for us as we head into Saturday evening. So I think that's when we're going to see our best chance of storms. And there'll be some moisture in the area, but uh, we're also going to have dust in the region as well. So that tropical wave that we're tracking, that stays well south of us. We'll have to keep an eye on the next one. That one might develop with time, but the bottom line, we also have African dust moving through Florida into the Gulf of Mexico as we head into next week, and that keeps thunderstorm activity at bay and tropical activity at bay as well. So tonight, overnight tonight, we're looking relatively quiet with generally fair skies tomorrow back into the upper 90s, and then as we head into Saturday, we'll see a start near 80 again, and then Saturday afternoon, scattered showers and some thunderstorms moving in as we head into the latter part of the afternoon and the 
evening hours, so that's factored in the forecast. I'm not going too high on the rain chances quite yet. Near 100 tomorrow, northern portions of Acadia, and we'll say right around the upper 90s for the rest of the I-10 corridor. And as we move forward into the 10-day forecast, upper 90s with rain chances picking up up to 60% for late Saturday, and then uh, maybe some lingering shower activity as we head into Sunday morning. But Sunday afternoon, I think, is dry. Scattered activity next week, and highs only, only. in the mid-90s <laughs> for an extended period of time. But it looks like uh, they may creep up again toward the end come of Come on, low week. 90s. We'll I never thought weekend. we'd be wishing for yes, that. Yes, we're, we we're wishing for low 90s. Yeah. Definitely. Nice. I'll take a day in the upper 80s, yeah. and I'll pay for it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> right, Thank good. you, Rob. Thanks, Rob.